Hi, welcome to another video. I wanted to stop off. I'm doing some road journeys and I stopped off here at St. Clement's Church in Old Romney. It's an old Saxon church. We'll go inside in a minute. Um, an old Saxon church later converted to a Norman church. It's actually an Anglican church as it goes. The graveyard's covered with all these old... Some of them are so old you can't even see the inscriptions on them fascinating church we'll go inside in a minute just wanted to show you this grave there is one famous person i say famous i don't i've never heard of him <laughs> here's his grave derek jarman have you heard of derek jarman born 1942 and died 1994 or so i guess he was a member of the parish here in old romney maybe new romney um i'll put a list of the movies that he is connected to on screen. I, I, I've not seen anything by him, but it's said that he was an artist, a filmmaker, a costume designer, stage designer, writer, poet, gardener, and gay activist. And as we know in today's modern climate, that's not an issue, but way back then, it obviously was. It's also a grave for a Royal Air Force character, W.J. Stephen. Air Gunner, Royal Air Force, 20th of January, 44, aged 19. I didn't see a sign saying that there was a Commonwealth war grave here. Just that there was, um, I just spied that. So I'm going to take a walk around the church. And we will also go inside because I think there's a fascinating connection with Walt Disney quite apart from these lovely old graves. I don't know what the oldest grave is here, because some of them are um, so worn by the, um, by the ages, you can't even see the dates. I think I can see 1787 here. But in the 60s, there was a film that Disney released with Patrick McGowan, you know, Patrick McGowan from The Prisoner and Danger Man. And it was called Dr. Sin and the Scarecrow. I think it's actually also alias Dr. Sin, alias the Scarecrow. And the film kind of has a premise about the smuggling that happened in the 1800s, when, of course, it was getting the contraband over from the continent and selling it here without having to pay the tax man. Because <laughs> none of us like to pay the tax man, do we? But we do. So I've stopped off on the A259. I'm doing some road trips. Further down that way is New Romney. And beyond New Romney is Dimchurch. And Dimchurch is where... Dr. Sin was a, a vicar, <laughs> but he was also the scarecrow, the leader of the um, smugglers. But they used this church in the scenes for the movie, and it says it's open, so we'll go in, we'll take a look. Close the door behind me. So obviously it's, um, it's a church that's currently in use, so you've got all your notice board and stuff. I don't know about you, but when you come inside a church, you feel very rever reverent or reverent. You don't want to be shouting, you don't want to be making a lot of noise. What Disney did, because they wanted to use the church for the filming, they actually aided the renovation and restoration of the church. So what we see here are these box pews, which are rather peculiar. I've got a little, little lift thing here. And you can go inside and have a sit down. Sit down in the pew and have a listen to the preacher giving the word of the day. But look at the old oak beams. It's a very understated church. There's no flamboyance about it at all. But going back to Disney, Disney helped the restoration of the church. And what they did, they actually painted all the pews pink for the film. So you've got a, I think it's a chancel, obviously an area where the um, 
bride and groom would sign their certificates when they got married. This is it. It's just like a couple of off rooms, one main area. Yes, yeah, so Disney painted all of these pink for the for the um for the movie Doctor Sin and the Scarecrow. I think there's a scene with Patrick McGowan giving a sermon. Let's go up here. A little voyage of discovery. <laughs> these steps are both steep and narrow. Please take care when ascending and descending. Gosh, look at these old pews. It looks um, very uncomfortable. And it does look like it's from the 1800s, you know. Maybe even the Pilgrim Fathers. Oh, that is uncomfortable to sit on. You're very upright. <laughs> nice view, though. Looking down on the congregation. I've never seen this before. Box pews. I wonder if they're reserved for particular families. You know, you come in on a Sunday and I always sit second pew from the front, furthest left. That's my spot. How dare Mrs. Biggins be sitting in there? Very steep and narrow. Take care when descending. It's got this lovely old floor as well. St. Clement's Church. I suppose they would do lots of things like this, you know, put up plaques for people who have supported the church over the years. You know, esteemed members of the parish. Old Saxon church, so it wouldn't have had this, this ceiling in the Saxon time, and probably not even the Norman time. I think about the 1800s, it was restored into a church as we see it now. And it was only in the 60s that the Disney did their, put their mark on it. So sometimes, you know, you just walk, driving along, you see an old church, you think, that's worth a visit, let's go and have a look inside. That looks to be the only stained glass window in the place. Maybe there were more in time. Maybe all of these were stained glass. have been replaced. You know what? Maybe I should combine this with several others, but I'm not. I'm going to release this one as a video in its own right so that we can, um, you know, get it out there. Back out into the light. So it is very close to the 259, the main thoroughfare coming from Hastings, maybe even Brighton. Don't know how far the 259 stretches, but the 259 goes all the way up to Margate. So it's a long road. In its day, this would have been in the middle of countryside. You know, the only hamlet would have been the houses on the other side. And maybe these few on this side here. You wouldn't have had this very fast road going through. So yeah, St. Clement's Church in Old Romney. In fact, I'm going to see what it looks like from this far side just to conclude the video. Well, that's a very pleasant brook with the trees. That's a photo opportunity, isn't it? Well, look, we've got some graves that are reserved. Are these tiny ones for people who have been cremated? Drop me a comment. But maybe they've been cremated and they just bury their ashes in, in the churchyard. Which is a very nice thing for me to think about because, you know, you can scatter your ashes anywhere and everywhere. But for those that loved you and need to visit for contemplation, there's nowhere to go. Oh yeah, they scattered his ashes at Glencoe. Oh, crikey, I've got to go up to Glencoe, Glencoe and just be there. But by doing this, putting the the um, ashes I might be wrong but I think that's what it is funny that they've reserved a couple does that mean the people have actually died and they're 
you know, preparing the ashes, or they know someone's going to die one day, so they reserve a plot. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to look at this. I think that's a lovely scene with the trees coming round here and the little brook and the sheep. So that is east, so the sun would rise. This might make good for a sunrise photography session. I'm always thinking two or three steps ahead, <laughs> especially when I run two or three video channels and one of them is photography. So there we go, St. Clement's Church in Old Romney with a connection to Patrick McGowan and Disney <laughs> and the prisoner. I'm not an amber, I'm a free man. <laughs> Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.